glacier and we finally got some snow been waiting for it um, yeah I've been waiting for it it's been tough hunting this year uh, really warm dry bare ground uh, so we got a couple inches of snow it's still snowing really hard um, probably gonna snow most of the day so got up a little bit early uh, I'm gonna drive around a little bit <coughs> you can see finally get up into some area that uh, we'll look for a track probably won't probably won't see many tracks today but you got to try because um, with this snow it's boy if you find a track it uh, your, your odds of getting it done are, are really high so anyways we'll uh no oh, someone's already been up this road in front of me <laughs> oh well anyways we're gonna uh we're gonna give it a good hard try i i think i know where one's hanging out if this doesn't work um it's about a mile hike in there and he's been bedding on this little knob so uh you know we'll try that we'll try that if this doesn't work um and see if we can do it that way but it's uh finally feels like deer season it hasn't hasn't been quite right all year so this is good 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 so we'll bring it back if i find anything good Oh, we got we got an old track right here. Um, like decent buck, but you know that's that's really really encouraging to see right there. So uh, can't really tell. I think he's going down, but oh boy. Deer are on their feet. This is a pretty good buck. And it is not that old. I wonder which way he went. Did he go out and make a loop, come back? Oh boy. I may have to uh, camp on this one. So just found a decent buck back there um, super fresh like within the last 20 minutes um, he's, he's probably I don't know 175 pounder he's got a big foot on him which is uh, it's kind of tempting but uh, I'm gonna see what else is around I can go back I mean there's a chance someone's gonna take him but That's okay. That's okay. There's, there's some good bucks around, so uh, they're on their feet, which is very, very shocking to me. Um, but that's good. That's good. Um, see what else is out here. Um, I know I could probably catch up to that one pretty, pretty quick, but it just wasn't that oh my god track. So. Um, try not to jump the gun too early because there could be a bigger one up the road here so we'll see all right here we go get another track here yeah. still not convinced it's fresh too it's hard to drive past these fresh tracks I don't know it looks decent here Hoof, not a big stance, probably 150 pounder. It's the second fresh one, so I'm gonna keep looking, even though it's killing me to drive back by these fresh tracks. The other one was a little bit bigger, I think. You know, it's uh. I don't, 
I can come back to any of these, really. I'm gonna keep looking and uh, see if I can find a real one here. So, a funny thing just happened. I was I was heading back to go pick up one of those tracks, and uh, I turned around. And I was coming up the same road that I just came across, and as I'm driving up it. Uh, this beautiful buck run across the road in front of me and headed up into the woods. So he had a decent rack on him. You know, he's not huge, but he's, you know, he's a nice deer, probably 180 pounder. So can't pass anything like that up. So I'm going to go try to get him, uh, let him settle down here for a few minutes, get dressed, pack my bag and head up in there. So stay tuned and, uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Oh, I can smell him. So <clears throat> here we go. The, uh, this buck just crossed the road in front of me. I'm out looking for a track, and this beautiful buck crossed the road. Um, had a nice rack on him. He looked probably 175, 180 pounds. I can smell him. Jeez, I can smell him. That's the third buck this year I've been able to smell, but I gave him about 20 minutes. He ran up through this ridge, so uh, hopefully he'll just go up there and settle down and you know maybe we can uh, get on them here so <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes today they're on the move for sure hope get to the top of this ridge and stop running he was pretty, I backtracked him a little bit. He was pretty nervous coming up to the road. I don't know if I like that, but wind's blowing right on my back. That's not good either. But I'll get the peep gun today. truck. That ain't good. That ain't good. I don't like that. That means he's gonna run again. Yeah, you can see where he stopped. He turned around to see if I was danger. Took off running again. Huh. Yeah, not good. I'm gonna give this boy some time. Should have just kept driving by and come back. Yeah, you get to the top of this ridge. He's slowing right down. He's slowing up now. He's going to be up in the soft wood, I'm sure. There's a J hook right there. Slow it up right here. And now he's going right up. That's why I kept looking up there. Oh. 
doesn't even got a good look at normal walk here. spooky. He runs and then he starts walking again. face. Jesus. Now, I don't know about this old boy. Let me give him, oh, he stinks. God, he stinks. Let me give him one more go, and then I'm going to go look for something else. <clears throat> well, that didn't pan out. That buck was a little too spooked. He, uh, you know, he ran across the road in front of the truck, and he went up through the hardwood here, and as soon as he was just about out of sight, he stopped, turned around, and watched, and of course I was excited. I bailed out of the truck and and. Uh, got my stuff ready and went walked his backtrack and you know I think he watched me do the whole thing so he uh my tracker he, he took off from that spot ran again got up on another elevation you could see where he stopped turned back and then he ran again from there so I might have jumped him again and then he went up in softwood up here. I knew he'd slow down when he hit that softwood. <clears throat> well, just before that, he did a big J-hook right up the bank. He was coming across, and all of a sudden he went right up. And the wind was really, really bad. It was right behind me. Anyways, he got up in that edge of that softwood and found a nice, nice little perch up there where he could... 
now you can see you can see for a long ways down through these hardwoods and he had the wind blowing right on his back track and I never even I don't even think I got close to him you know it was just a steady wind blowing so the uh, it was fun I got to see him unfortunately I rather see him in the woods not in the truck <laughs> but the uh, we're gonna go back I'm gonna go back to that other first track I found and hopefully no one's on it probably is but you know I was actually really surprised these bucks were on their feet this morning but they were and uh, we're gonna go back and see if we can get that one in his bed he's not spooked he wasn't rattled right off this back you know this buck was was really nervous coming up to the road I think he's had a fair amount of pressure here but he was really nervous you know his steps got real short he was coming up to the road real real slow and of course I was flying up the road trying to get back to that other track and you know just caught him he had to he had to run right in front of me so let's see what we can do so we flew back down to this track and it doesn't look like much, but I know it's only two hours old. Hopefully I'm not too late on it, but you know, like that other one did, I'm hoping this one just beds down. It's good conditions to oh boy, get one of these deer. This one had a big hoof and it's just got my interest because normally these deer just don't have these big hoofs in this area. It's a lot of mountainous stuff and it's just not typical. That last one, I, I mean, I saw that deer and he was, I would say 175 pounder and it looked like he had a 150 pound track on him. So we'll see, uh, see where this one takes us. It's pretty, rugged country where he's headed here but we'll give it a shot we'll give it a shot he might just be around the corner they're not going to travel all day today guaranteed so he's just walking along here he's headed up to, to this ridge and i've been up there before and it's not it's not an enjoyable ridge to go up but Well, he's got that big foot on him, but he's got a real short stride, and almost no stagger. I just typically don't even mess with these kind of deer, but being how fresh it was this morning, I just want to see what he is. Just dinking around. Almost looks like there was a couple doe track in here and he, he might be trying to search them out, which would be cool. If I can get them caught with those, it'd be really good. center See him. 
is just as far as you can see. Right where it, the white turns to brown up there. He took a couple steps and kind of disappeared. He's probably behind some stuff. But. can't charge up that bag you just take off. I'm kind of following these tracks. Just keeping my eyes peeled back there. I gotta believe that these are gonna make a turn. Oh, is that him right there? days like this they, they got to get in a position where they can see a long ways because they can't hear anything so they'll get on these big open hardwoods and watch watch and use the wind in their favor if they can oh boy I see the track heading that way already I'm gonna deal with this one so I'm up above them Just like I thought, that buck's track swung right up there. The doe took him up there. I don't know if that was the buck or the doe I saw up there. I just saw it for five seconds. But I really got no play on them following their tracks. Oh. This usually doesn't work, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try to get way up over here, get above them, and then just hunt down towards them. The wind's blowing at them. See, they're embedded watching down the hill with the wind on their back track, so I really need to get above them. I know they're going to be bedded right there. Perfect setup. Try to weasel up through this valley. Up at this elevation. I think those deer are in front of me somewhere. The wind's blowing like that, so.
get them or not. It's not a giant, but yeah, antlers. Shots fired. Shots fired. I don't I don't think I hit them too good though. I fuck I shot on them eight times. It worked out perfect. I came right up I came right up behind him. He was tending that doe. And I shot and he kind of disappeared and I ran up there and he was coming right back at me. I missed a really good shot. But he just ran all the way down the hill, but it looked like he was limping a little bit. He weren't going too fast. So, oh yeah, I got blood. I can see blood from here. It's good. He ran all the way back down the hill. I don't have to drag him down this thing. He's not huge. Yeah. But nice it, no, it's like probably maybe like that one I shot last year. But it was a fun hunt. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll get him now. Yeah. All right. No. You, you won't have Probably not. But <laughs> yeah, it's not great blood, but it's blood. I only get five left. I think I get three in my pack. Oh, he's bleeding good. He's bleeding good. There's pretty good spray out one side of him. I come up. I was coming up across. And I'm like, Jesus, they gotta be just about right here. And I come up over this little hummock, and uh, I see something in front of me. It looked like the ass end of a deer. It's real dark. I said, is that him right there? He's only 40 yards away. And I put the binoculars, and I could see it was a deer, you know? Yeah. All right. So that worked out. And I got a little bit of blood. I don't think I've got him hit too well. He is limping. I had a couple sprays of blood, but... He, uh, he was tending that doe up in there. And uh, I shot at him a lot. You'll see the footage, but now I'm trying, trying to get back down to him here. He ran all the way down this hill. I'm hoping he's hurt worse and it's just the momentum's carrying him. But we'll see what we run into down here. He was going pretty slow down through here. Just a little sprays of blood. I don't like that. Should be enough to 
falling down though. changing clips and I realized that he had spun around come right back at me it's too bad so I had still bleeding I had some good shots at him yeah he's bleeding more now he's hitting the flats oh I hit him in the leg I can see he's dragging it be a long day. Probably gonna be right on this hump right here somewhere. I broke tracks from this morning.
Alright, oh boy. Here we are, November 16th. I <clears throat> got my New Hampshire buck. Um, it was a real fun hunt. Uh, basically what happened is I picked up his track this morning and I drove by it. Uh, I knew it wasn't a real big deer, but uh, I went looking for some other stuff. And I actually had another buck run across the road in front of me uh, about half an hour later, just looking for tracks. So. I took him for a little ways and he was real spooked. I jumped him three or four times and I left him. Um, but anyways, I came back to this deer and uh, started tracking him and he was kind of uh, harassing a doe a little bit. He was kind <clears> of <throat> tending to her a little bit and he went up this ridge behind me with the doe. And uh, when I hit this flat up here, I saw a deer way, way as far as I could see, about 200 yards up through the hardwood. And I knew there was nothing I could do. So <clears throat> what I did was I left the track and I made a big swing uh, out to the right and got up about the same level where I thought they were and came back across. And uh, I knew I was getting about in the right area and I spotted their tracks down below me. So I got ready and I poked my head up over a knoll and he was standing there tending that doe. Um, and I fired, so real happy with him. Um, he's probably gonna go 150, 160 pounds. He's uh, maybe a nine pointer, but he's good eight anyways. And funny rack on him, but uh, it's been a tough year. It's been very warm and uh, there's not a lot of deer in the mountains. The nut crop is horrible, so um, I'm happy. I'm happy and probably go to Maine next. So uh, stay safe everybody and take care.